I'll be showing the new Microsoft Teams meeting join experience. This has recently been updated and I'm going to walk through each of the parts. So here's a meeting I've set up and I'm going to click here and click join. What you see is the new layout of Teams meetings and there's a set of options for your video and your audio and a few other things. The first one is just the video. So I'll turn on my video camera here. Hey, how's it going? Now if you notice, this is a different video angle that I want. This is my webcam coming in. I want to switch this to my front facing camera. So I'm going to go right here to the gear and click open device settings. And there's some options here, audio, speaker, microphone, and camera. So in this case, I'm going to change the camera to the Microsoft camera front, which is my laptop camera. Hey, and now it's looking right at me. So you can change your camera here if you have multiple cameras. It's really easy. The other thing that's very popular are the backgrounds. So I'll click on background filter and now you see a set of options here and you might have already seen these to set your custom image background. So the first one is blur. I can blur all the blinds right behind me, but there's also a set of options here and there's some fun ones from the Microsoft education team that you can choose. So you have things like the bridge. One of my personal favorites that you can download is cat lasers. That's a really fun one. And you have a lot of other nice ones. If you want to get these education backgrounds, go to the link in the description and there's a place where you can download all of them. I'm going to choose this kind of fun blue one right here. So those are how you can do your background settings for the call. I'll close this. Other options include your audio. So in this case, I'm going to join with my computer audio. Maybe I want to join the meeting and be muted. I would turn off the microphone. So then if you join the meeting and all of a sudden your microphone's going and there's background noise, if you don't want that to happen, you can turn the microphone off when you join. There's also some settings here to control the volume. The other one is you can access device settings right here. If I click open device settings, that same device settings panel opens up. So for example, audio devices, I've got a nice microphone, my Yeti stereo microphone or my PC microphone and speakers. I'm going to choose my Yeti stereo microphone. Now that's going to use my microphone here, but I still want to use the speakers of my laptop. So you can change up. You can see it has custom setup. So my PC speakers plus my Yeti microphone that's plugged in and then I've set my camera. I'll close device settings again. I'm going to skip down to the bottom. There's another option you can choose which is don't use audio at all. So I will just join muted no matter what and don't even have to worry about my microphone. If you have a Teams room, you could choose room audio and this requires a Teams room system. These are just starting to roll out. So if you have a Teams room, you could join right up to the room audio with that option. And the last one is phone audio. This one is kind of cool. If I want Teams to call back my mobile number, I choose this one. So I'll show what that looks like, for example. Now I've got everything else set up. I'm going to click join now. Now here is where Teams asks me for my number. So if I want Teams to call my mobile phone, I would enter my mobile number here and I'll click call me. And now Teams is going to be calling that number and I could join right into that meeting audio. So that's how that one works. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.